Here's another structural foam experiment video where we're going to inject uh, two cases of structural foam, the uh, the genuine Terracore 1401, uh, into a jar. We've just measured this out. This jar holds pretty much exactly 1.6 litres, uh, about two millimetres from the top. And that's fairly specific because we're going to do a little test to see if there's how much expansion we get out of the um, structural foam. So in the cases or the cassettes, once two are mixed together, you get give or take 40, I'm uh, sorry, 400 milliliters. You always lose a bit in your mixing tube, but um, BMW suggests that two of these kits uh, go into the left-hand side, um, left-hand rear. We do left and right, so we would use four, but for this purpose, we're just gonna go by the BMW repair procedures and they say use two of these. So in total, they're suggesting 800 milliliters get injected into the cavity of the rear axle carrier panel surrounding the left rear subframe mount. So we're gonna empty this water out of here now. Now we've measured and we know that this is 1600 milliliters in there. Uh, obviously the halfway mark is gonna be 800. So if we inject this in and we get no expansion whatsoever, we would see this obviously, hopefully at about halfway um, and, uh, and and if it stays there, there's no expansion. It's just gonna be in a glass jar, mainly for transparency, obviously, uh, when it goes into a rear axle carrier panel, you don't see how it expands, how it moves, how fast it expands, that sort of thing. So we're gonna try and replicate everything we do normally with the vehicle when we do a structural foam injection. So we're gonna clean that out, um, get rid of any water um, remnants with uh, like a, um, an evaporating spirit. And, uh, and then warm that gently, warm the glass jar, just as we warm the car by having the engine running and the heaters on and let the heat exhaust soak into the panel. Um, and then we're gonna uh, warm up the structural foam cassettes in hot water, uh, as we do normally. And then we're gonna carry out the injection with the special tool, the pneumatic application gun, and, um, and, and see what happens. So we've got our warm structural foam now with the soggy labels to show it's been in the water, warming up, and we've got a bone dry glass jar. So now we'll start the process of the installation. So take the little tops off, unscrew the caps, pull the plungers out, set them to one side, screw the mixing tube on, Make sure that's nice and tight. Offer it into the gun. Connect your airline. We're going to try and do this without moving the jar, so I'm going to have to hold this vertical. There we go, it's one done. Eject the cartridge. Unscrew, put to one side. Same with the other one. Take the caps off, undo the plug. Put your mixing tube back on. Screw the uh, Cap nice and tight. Back into the gun. Airline attached. And that's it. That's uh, 800 milliliters. It's got a fair, fair even spread all the way around, contact on most of the jar.
yeah it's quite nice and even pretty much on halfway we've lost a bit in the uh in the mixing tube but just shy of halfway maybe maybe if the slight peak in there leveled out we'd be about halfway so we're going to now see if that does any expansion we've got a lid ready just in case not that we're expecting it to go over but by twice but we've got a lid ready should we need to so We'll, uh, if it starts expanding anytime soon, we'll try and video. Uh, if not, we'll leave it um, overnight and come back to it tomorrow and check the results. And just for recording purposes, we've put the uh, we've put Sharpie round the um, tide line, I suppose, uh, at the installation. It's just gone in about just over a minute ago and just checking the temperature of installation and it's about 34. 34 degrees C. Well, we're about four minutes in and we've got expansion already. Hard to see, but the line is uh, is just here, just under my finger. If we turn this around, it's leveled out and expanded quite well where this trough was that I drew with a Sharpie. Quite warm to the touch. And temperature wise, we're up to 39, so it's gone up four degrees. Cooler in the middle, about 40, so we're getting definitely, definitely going up. About five and a half minutes in, still more expansion, we're up to about 48 degrees now, so still rising. Hard to see maybe on the video, but if you watch the um, the top when this comes off, this is actually smoking. But probably hard to pick up on the video. Fifty degrees. This is getting very hot now. This is up to. 82 degrees that glass um, and amazingly it's leveled out fantastically up to the jar earlier on I mean there's a big gap there but earlier on we had lots of um, down the bottom if you look back in the video we had lots of gaps uh, during the filling process but it's pushed even though it's not pushing against anything at the top to, to counteract and fill it's actually just self leveling and filling its, uh, its space down here that is totally, totally filled now. It's still going, we're probably only seven minutes in. 57 right there. God, that is actually hot to touch. 58. That second line there, that's the tide line where it filled to. That second line was a, a cross-section look at the very um, highest peak in the centre at point of filling. 73 round there. 90. Did we see a 90 there? There was. There's a 90. There's a hot spot in right there, about 90 degrees. That jar is so hot, I can't touch it for half a second. And now there's a different colour matter in the central band. There's a dark grey up here and then a mid grey here. And this seems to be the hottest section. I mean, this is up at 97 degrees C and climbing. Just climbed 0.2 whilst we're talking here. and then cools down as we go down. And bear in mind, this is the outer. If we were uh, able to pinpoint the, the inside, the internal section, I would imagine that to be well over 100 by now. And then cools off at the, well, I say cools off, at the top where it's leveling out quite nice and level. That's still nearly nudging 90 degrees. There we go, 98. It'd be nice to see 100. And that's what you call an exothermic reaction.
Well, we seem to top it out. Brand's side at about 90s, high 90s, mid 90s. But if we tip to the side, the actual top of that is 113. 130 over there. Hundred and twenty seven we just saw. We're about one hour in now, and that's still showing about sixty degrees, which is uh, nearly too hot to pick up. So we're gonna leave this overnight, let it cure fully, and then um uh see what it looks like in the morning. So we've left it overnight, we're about 12 hours later, it's fully cured, back to room temperature, about 20 degrees, extremely light as we know, um, and probably on average gone maybe a third uh, expansion over the installation line of 800 milliliters. So we'll now um, smash the jar off and then uh, see what it looks like when we're left. We've decided to uh, smash the glass jar off in a separate video and start a new video uh, which will be part five I suppose um, showing the structural foam mask without the glass um, and then playing about with it, drilling it, hitting it, um, just seeing what it's, how strong it is, how light it is, um, maybe putting a, a blowtorch to it, all sorts of things. So we're going to do that in a separate video uh, coming up soon.